Hi, now let's look at data catalog. Understanding data is always a really big problem for any enterprise. And that too, if the data is flowing in from a lot of different systems, not just about the technical definition of that data, but also the business context of that data, it's a really big challenge for, for any company. What Google provides, Google provides a fully managed service called Data Catalog, which uh, does the data discovery and metadata management. It can pinpoint data with a very simple and powerful faceted search interface. And it also syncs technical metadata automatically and create schematized tags for business metadata. So what does it mean to provide uh, all of the metadata, whether it's technical or business, at one central place. So this picture kind of shows that data catalog is central and uh, it can basically pinpoint data from, let's say, BigQuery, PubSub, Dataproc, Metastore, Cloud Storage, and even non-GCP data assets like Hive, Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, MySQL, Postgres, Looker, Tableau, anywhere, as well as it can pinpoint data from DLP to take care of sensitive data. Where it is important is that, yes, it can catalog the data, but some of the data definition or, uh, or information could be PII. So it has an integration with DLP as well. Now, there are a lot of data cataloging services available. Uh, which can do much more than uh, just uh, governing uh, these kinds of data. So where data catalog is really beneficial is it's serverless. So if you have worked with any of the data governance, uh, data governance product, you know, the, the, the managing the servers, making it scalable is a big challenge. Data catalog service, it's, think of it as a metadata as a service. It basically does the metadata management by cataloging data assets via custom APIs. And, and, and the UI itself provides you a unified view of data wherever it is. Then also it, it, it's a central catalog. So you don't have to go anywhere to find out the meaning of your data. On top of this, it provides you search and discovery. So search and discovery, it's a simple and easy to use UI with powerful structured search capability to quickly and easily find any of your data assets. Then it has one of the big, most important feature is the cloud DLP integration. So it can discover and classify sensitive data. So, and apart from that, it definitely, it also connects to your own uh, premise systems. So it becomes a centralized repository basically. And, you know, it has native embedded cloud IAM security. So what that means is, enterprise security plus uh, enterprise control on data, uh, sensitive data, plus to be able to identify business and technical met metadata all across the services. So this it makes it a very compelling proposition for data governance solutions on Google Cloud. Now, when it comes to technical and business uh, metadata, to understand that what is technical metadata and what is business metadata. So if you look at this, this top one, and this is an example for uh, for a big query table. So this is basically this particular part. This is sourced from the underlying storage systems where the data assets actually live. And uh, it includes uh, your uh, project information, uh, asset name and description, uh, resource URL, uh, labels, schema name, 
basically which system it is coming from, what are the table types, uh, when it was created and all of that. That becomes a technical metadata. What is a business metadata, which is shown under this tag, tag one, this is user generated metadata applied to the asset using data catalog tags. Business metadata is always linked to a technical metadata entry. So you will have technical metadata displayed and then business metadata is linked to technical metadata in, term, in terms of the business significance. And the significance is basically the tagging of the data. So how do you tag that data, whether it's finance data, whether it's a custom, uh, customer data, HR data, and those kind of things. Now let's, let's look at uh, how this um, how this service looks like on Google Cloud Console, just to get more familiarized with how easy it is to do search on data, how easy it is to tag uh, any of the data assets. On the Google Console, data catalog is under big data, which you can see here. So if you click on data catalog, this is the main page that will bring you to. And uh, as discussed, so it has all of the systems listed uh, down here. If you click on BigQuery, it will bring up all of the data sets that you have in BigQuery. Then what uh, you do basically in Data Catalog is you, you create tag templates. So if you come to tag templates and let's say this tag template, demo tag template. What this tag template is that depending upon every data set, these are the four fields which are defined. So, so what is the source of this data set? What are the number of rows? Whether it has PII or not? If it has, what, what's the PII type? So in this case, if I go back to data catalog and I scroll down to my tag templates, and I click on demo tag template, I can see that this template has been applied to a data set called demo data set. So think of a scenario when you have created a tag template for PII data and you have applied it to every data set or different teams have applied it to a different data set wherever the PII data is stored. Now you need to find out if something has changed in PII data where all that data sits in. This is a very easy way because the moment you select it, it will automatically pinpoint you to all of the data set where PII information is stored. The second uh, use case is uh, how do you enforce policies? So organization might have highly confidential data, medium confidential or low confidential. How do you assign that to individual fields across the ent enterprises. That's, that's taken care by creating policy tags. So in the process of creating policy tags, you create taxonomies. Taxonomy is, is basically a set of principles. So in this example, I have a business critical information. What my business critical information is, I have defined it as highly confidential, so social security number is highly confidential. Then medium confidential address is the mini medium con uh, confidential. Now, I have applied high confidential to one of the data sets. So if I click on this, what happens here, if you see on the right side, uh, in the panel is it tells me the people who have editor role. It tells me the people who are the owner. Similarly, you can create a reader group, reader role, where you will have the list of all the people who can read it. Now, once this policy is attached to a column in BigQuery, when they access that table, only the people who are part of this list, depending upon their role or principle, can actually see that data. 
how this is applied if you go to BigQuery and let's say there's an example, this trip, uh, trips column, uh, trips table, and this is the detail. When you go to its schema and you click on edit schema, you get an option to add policy tag. So let's say I click a field called vendor ID and I add a policy tag. This is where I can add whether it's highly confidential or medium confidential. Let's say this one is medium confidential and I select it. Now this policy tag gets attached to this particular column. Now anytime anybody who's accessing it, their access will be verified against their role for the policy which you defined in data catalog. So one central place where you can define all of this and apply, apply across all of the data set across the entire organization. So th these are some of the use cases where it helps you take care of uh, building technical and business met metadata as well as enforcing policy how the data should be governed. So I hope this was useful. Thank you.